We kick off Metal TV Sports with football as overseas-based players Amari Bell, Curtis Tilt, Wes Harding, Liam Moore, Andre Gray, Dylan Barnes, and Blair Turgot have now joined up with the Jamaica Reggae Boys delegation in Japan for two friendlies. The players were barred from boarding a flight to Japan earlier this week because they did not have the required PCR tests for COVID-19 for entry into the country. As such, they had to go back to England to get the correct testing done and are now with their teammates. The developments led to the cancellation of today's game against Japan, the senior team. Now Jamaica will now take on Serbia in four days' time before facing Japan's under-23 team on June 12th. The reggae boys are getting ready for the CONCACAF Gold Cup. Still on football, hosts Brazil will open the Copa America with a game against Venezuela in the capital Brasilia, while the final will be played at Rio de Janeiro's Maracana Stadium. The tournament held over from last year due to the COVID-19 pandemic was shifted to Brazil on Monday after original co-hosts Argentina and Colombia were replaced at the last minute. It will be the second time in a row the tournament was hosted by Brazil and it comes despite concerns about the health condition in the country which saw almost 100,000 new cases reported yesterday along with more than 2,500 deaths, according to government data. More than 460,000 Brazilians have died from COVID-19. The Copa America will go ahead, however, with Brazil kicking off Group B against Venezuela at the Mayor Garincha Stadium on June 13. Colombia, Ecuador and Peru are also in the group. Argentina opened their campaign at the Rio's Nilton Santos Stadium against Chile on June 14. The group also features Bolivia, Paraguay and Uruguay. The Maracanã will host the final, the only match to be played there on July. We bowl over to Cricket News. Jamaica pacer Marquino Mindley has been released from his quarantine within the West Indies Red Ball training camp following a second negative PCR test result. Mindley tested positive for COVID-19 last week and has since been in isolation at the team hotel away from the other members of the playing and coaching staff. He received a second negative PCR test yesterday and also was cleared to rejoin the training camp taking place at the Darren Summit Cricket Ground in St. Lucia. Mindley returned to the training squad to participate in the third day of the best versus best four-day squad match between the Jamar Hamilton 11 and the German Blackwood 11. He bowled a short spell for Blackwood's team on his return. Meanwhile, after being on the back foot for the first two days, Jamar Hamilton's 11 secured a three-wicket win on today's final day. Starting the day on 218 for four, needing 92 to win, they got home at 313 for seven. Rustin Chase, who yesterday retired hurt, returned to make 45 not out, while Raymond Reefer took his overnight 22 to 32 against Rakeem Cornwall, who took three for 99. Kieran Powell yesterday made 95. Final scores, Blackwood's 11, 264 and 224, Hamilton's 11, 178 and 313. The game was the final one before the squad for the South Africa series is picked. The two test matches will be played at the Darren Sammy Cricket Ground with the first test taking place from the June 10 to 14 date and the second test taking place from June 18 to 22. Meanwhile, New Zealand opener Devon Conway today sealed a debut double ton amid an England fight back on day two of the first test at Lords, which included Ollie Robinson completing a four-wicket haul and a half-century for Rory Burns. Conway making 200 became the seventh batsman and second New Zealander after Matt Sinclair against West Indies in 1999 to score a double ton in his first test 
as the Kiwis made 378 before England reached 120. 111 for two, sorry, with Burns 59 not out and Joe Root unbeaten on 42, lifting their side from 18 for two. New Zealand were set for a far more imposing total, only to slump from 288 for three as England's new boy Robinson 4 for 75 and Mark Wood 3 for 81 rallied the coasts. The Bat Cats lost four wickets for just six runs in 8.3 overs once Robinson and Wood combined to snap a 174 run partnership between Henry Nichols, 61, and Conway, while the tourists suffered a larger wobble of 6 for 50. Number 11, Neil Wagner, 25 not out, then bossed a final wicket stand of 40 with Conway, who was the last man to fall. Still on cricket, the remainder of the 2021 Pakistan Super League PSL will be played at the Shakai Zayed Stadium in Abu Dhabi from June 9 with a final set for June 24. The sixth edition of the tournament was suspended in March after 14 games after seven individuals, including six players, tested positive for COVID-19. The move follows the Indian Cricket Board's decision to complete this year's Indian Premier League in the United Arab Emirates after a devastating second wave of COVID-19 in India, suspending the tournament last month. The PSL will resume with Lahore Kuala taking on Islamabad United in the 15th game of the tournament. On to some exciting basketball news. Trey Young last night joined Michael Jordan as the only visiting player with three straight 30-point games at Madison Square Garden in the playoffs after leading Atlanta to a convincing Game 5 victory to seal the series in New York. You know, now Young continued his breakout postseason scoring 18 of his game I 36 points in the fourth quarter as the visiting Hawks eliminated the Knicks with a 103 to 89 victory. The fifth seeded Hawks, who won the final three games by a combined 42 points to clinch their first series since 2016, will face the top seeded Philadelphia 76ers in the Eastern Conference semifinals. The series begins on Sunday. Philadelphia, meanwhile, closed out their series with ease thanks to a new playoff career high from Seth Curry, a triple-double from Ben Simmons, and a 28-point performance from Tobias Harris. Curry scored a playoff career high 30 points. Harris added 28 and 9 rebounds as they eliminated the Washington Wizards in five games with a 129-112 to victory. Now Simmons had 19 points, dished out 11 assists, and grabbed 10 rebounds for the top-seeded Sixers. It was Simmons' third career playoff triple-double and moves him to second all-time in Sixers playoff history behind only the Hall of Fame center, Wilt Chamberlain. Donovan Mitchell amassed 30 points and 10 assists to lead the Jazz to a first-round clinching 126-110 Game 5 victory over the Memphis Grizzlies. Sixth man of the year winner Jordan Clarkson added 24 points off the bench and Rudy Gobert totaled 23 points with 15 rebounds and three blocks as the Jazz, who led by as many as 35 points, earned their fourth consecutive victory to eliminate the Grizzlies. Utah, which finished with the best record in the entire NBA, now awaits the winner of the Los Angeles Clippers Dallas Mavericks series as the Dallas Mavericks currently lead the best of seven series 3-2, with Slovenian guard Luka Doncic scoring 42 points in their 105-100 victory last night. And those are the stories making sports news tonight. We now head back to the news desk with Shelly and Hill.